on Friday, March 9th. At 7.20 p.m., one of the most shocking and twisted incidents ever recorded <laughs> befell Sarah Murphy and her father. Their ordeal lasted 88 minutes. Witness these true events in real time. Now, I got to see the film, I guess, two years ago at Sundance. I was at the premiere. Oh, the wow. Night. The journey. It's been a long one. How excited are you guys to finally, this Friday, show everybody exactly what all you guys created? It's so great. We're so thrilled to finally get this movie out in front of audiences. No question. It's an interesting film in the fact that it's all one take. And that's kind of been the marketing push and everybody's been really pushing it. When you guys watch it, how many mistakes do you see? Because there's no way that it went, everything went perfectly. Um, I don't really see many that do. Well, yeah, because I, I would say that actually we don't see mistakes because we basically didn't stop shooting until we got the sequence the way we wanted it. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. So it's like the mistakes are all on the cutting room floor. Um, and what you see is the takes that we were satisfied with because we wouldn't stop until we actually got the sequence the way we wanted it. Because there was going to be no fixing it later, you know? Yeah. So, so, yeah. yeah. So that leads to the next question. How easy was the editing process? The <laughs> easiest editing job. It's like a joke that I'm in the, in the guild on this movie. You I think know. that's one reason why, too, we were able to make the movie so fast. I mean, we met Agnes, the producer, in June, and we were shooting in October, and we were at Sundance in January. And, you know, you wouldn't have been able to do that if you had coverage and miles mm -hmm. and miles of footage that you had to cut together. And the cast, there's not, I mean, I think there's, what, four people total? Five. Or five people total in the five, film? That's right. The chemistry is obviously an extremely important part of making sure that everything flows. So what was the casting like? All well, together? I'll just say that getting Lizzie was the easiest part. We had great casting directors, and, and they knew as soon as they read the script, she was the right one for the role, and, and uh, she was just... Obviously, fantastic, you know. Uh, and then the others, some a little bit longer. Yeah, and I would say it was all about. It was absolutely all about rehearsal. And we started with. We had a three-week rehearsal period, two-week rehearsal period, actually. So the actors had had time to really work the script together. And of course, we spent a lot of time on the choreography so that people knew where they had to be it was, you know, critical. In terms of going from script to screen. Were there any rewrites that had to happen simply for the use of the camera and not creating another tape? Absolutely. You got on set Absolutely. Sliders? Absolutely. Now, of course, once we had the location, I rewrote the script to be tailored to the location. But when we were actually shooting, yes, there were some times where we realized that we needed to make adjustments just to make the choreography flow better or that a certain room, that something that, that we wanted to do, we couldn't do. It just was technically not possible in that particular location. So we would have to rewrite. And yes, we would actually go in and just rewrite it. Which is like the nature of filmmaking, I think, or experiences, not just a single take, is you prepare, 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 prepare for everything, and then you get there, your mind is still open enough to, you know, take advantage of something you didn't expect, or, you, or, or see something, or real, there's a certain problem you didn't see, and you, you're always adapting as well, so. Hang on, hey, I'm gonna go get help.